In this video, we're gonna get started on building your first WordPress plugin. Welcome back. If you're not familiar with me or my channel, I am Josh Herbison. I own a company called Idea Pro where we build websites and software. I've been a software developer for over 30 years and I enjoy sharing my experience and knowledge with you guys. In this video, we're going to build your first WordPress plugin and you would be surprised how easy it really is. So let's get started. So I am logged into ideapro.io, which is our website that we use for testing and showing you guys how to build things. And we're on the plugin section of WordPress here. So I'm going to open up Finder and we are on the desktop here. That's where we're going to start our new plugin. So we're going to create a new folder and that new folder is going to be example plugin. And you can name that folder whatever you want to call your plugin. Use hyphens and not spaces in the name of that folder. Okay, so then we're going to open up this folder in our text editor, which I use Sublime Text Editor. It's Sublime Text 3. So we're gonna open that up in our editor here so you guys can see it. And then we're gonna create a new file here in this folder and we're going to call it example-plugin.php. That is going to be the same name as the folder that you created, okay? So we're gonna save that and that's gonna save it right there in that folder. All right, so we're gonna remove this. So now we're gonna open up a PHP bracket and then we're gonna come down a little ways and we're gonna close a PHP bracket, all right? So as I said, you don't need tools to do this. You can do this with Notepad on Windows or text edit with on a Mac and Mac is what I use. I don't ever use the text edit um, because I have Sublime. If you don't have Sublime, you can download it for free or you can use text edit. Just make sure that if you're using text edit, that you convert the, um, the format of the text to plain text. And the way you do that is in the top menu, go to format and then make plain text. I always forget it, so I wrote it down for you guys. All right, so now we're going to put in the code that we need to get this plugin uh, started. So we're gonna do a slash and two stars. Then we're gonna come down the line and we're gonna say plugin name and we're just gonna call this example plugin for YouTube tutorial. How about that? It's kind of a long name. But then we can add a description, just a plugin that we are creating as an example. You can put in the version 1.0. You can put in the author. the author URI. I'm gonna put in ideapro.com, our company website. We can do a text domain. Now what the text domain is, is it's the kind of the slug, if you will, the unique slug for your plugin. I don't know how else better to explain that. So we're calling our plugin example plugin. That's not a really good name to use for the plugin that you're gonna build. You wanna call it represent, represented to what you're building, right? If it's a calendar plugin, you might wanna call it my personal calendar plugin, but use your name or your company name or something like that in that plugin name so that it doesn't conflict with any other plugin that might be installed on that website. So in this one, we're just using example plugin, which is more than likely not going to conflict with any other plugin that you install because most developers aren't going to call it example plugin, but it's probably not the best name to be using. I'm just using it as the example here in this video, okay? So now we can also add in other things to tell people what this plugin um, can do and 
the version of WordPress that you is required. So we can say requires at least 5.6. And then we can say what version of PHP it requires. Requires PHP 7.2. Let's say, let's say it requires PHP 7.2. So there's additional stuff that you can put in this header to tell what the plugin does, like the licensing and stuff like that. But that's all we're gonna do on this one just to give you guys an example and get this thing started. Okay, we're gonna save this. And I am typically use FTP software that's going directly into ideapro.io. But in this video, I'm not using FTP because I'm outside of the development plug form, the development folder that I typically use. So we're doing this on the desktop, so I don't have that FTP set up in this project. So we're going to go back to our desktop here in Finder, and we're going to right click, and we're going to compress the example plugin here. And we can even add, after this, we can say um, hyphen or dot 1.0 like that. So now we've got a zipped version of our plugin. So we're gonna go to our um, site here and we're on plugins. So we're gonna click add new. And we've got this button here that says upload plugin. We're gonna choose the file. We're gonna go to desktop. We're gonna choose that zip file. We're gonna open it and install it. Okay, so now it's installed that plugin and we're gonna activate the plugin. So right here, we have example plugin for YouTube tutorial, just a plugin that we are creating as an example. And it's version 1.0 by me, and this is a link to the ideapro.com website. So that's how quick and easy it is to get started on building that plugin. Now, in the content of the plugin here, you can write functions and different things to make that plugin do something. So we're gonna write a quick, simple, um, function that will just add uh, copyright or something like that to the footer of the website. So if we go back here and we look at the ideapro.io actual front page of the website, we're using the 2021 default theme that comes with WordPress. It says proudly powered by WordPress. Um, so I didn't put a theme on this or anything. I just, it's just the default. And so I'll show you guys how to add something to the, uh, let's do the footer. Okay, so we're gonna come back over to our code and we're going to write a function and we're gonna call it example plugin show in footer. It's kind of a long, long function name there. But then right after this plugin, we're gonna say add action and the first variable here is gonna be WP underscore footer. And then this second variable here is going to be the callback function. And this is the callback function here. So we're gonna put that in there. And then in here, we're just going to echo out the copyright information. Copyright and COPY and we're going to put in a date here for the year. Um, Joshua, let's do Joshua Herbison, Idea Pro LLC, okay? Now we've saved this and we're not using FTP, which is what I typically use, which would automatically upload it to the site. So what we need to do is we need to come back over and let's change the version to 1.1, okay? So then we need to go back to Finder and we need to delete this zip file here. We need to compress the plugin. We can rename this to .1.1, save it. Now we need to deactivate the previous plugin and delete it. All right, so then we're gonna add new. We're going to upload, choose file. We're gonna choose that 1.1 zip file here that we just did. Open, install, activate, 
and everything is good, it says plugins activated. If you have any errors in your code, it will not activate and it will show you what that error is up here at the top. So now our plugin is in there and it's activated. We're gonna go back over here and we're gonna refresh this page and we can scroll down and down here at the very bottom of the footer is copyright 2021 Joshua Herbison slash Idea Pro LLC. So that is how quick it is to build that plugin and add that into the footer. Now, if we wanted to, we could change this to WP head and that adds that to the header. So we're gonna come back over here. We're going to move to trash. Let's go back and let's change this to 1.2. And we are going to compress, change the name of this plugin to .1.2. We're gonna come back over to our page and we're going to deactivate, delete, add new, upload plugin, choose the file, 1.2, open, install, activate, and we have no errors. If we come back over here to the website and we refresh, right there at the top of the screen, we have copyright 2021 Joshua Herbison Idea Pro LLC. So that is how easy it is to get started on building your first plugin. You can check out my other videos on my channel that go more deep into what you can do with those plugins. And I am creating future videos on new plugins and doing different things with plugins. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, subscribing, liking this video, and I look forward to seeing you in future videos. Thanks.